One of the main things that need to be fixed is the horn. The reason being, when Dirk gets his car to Germany, he has to pass a safety inspection. So, oh, this steering wheel doesn't lock. Anyway, that's a different problem. But we're going to go ahead and pull this off and see. The main problems that people have with horns usually happens underneath here. And it looks like this is new. Someone's uh, replaced this before, which is good. That's a good thing. But it's also a bad thing. Because who knows if they did it right. Let's tighten these up. These are supposed to be tight. I don't know why they're not. So what this happens is these tangs get pushed in by the horn button and that's what creates the circuit. And the horn's still not working. So looking inside of here, the little plunger and all that stuff is in there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to the front of the car and just see if the horns are actually plugged in or if, and, or if they work. That probably should have been step one, but my experience tells me that 99% of the time the problem's in here. So let's move on. So this 73 has low note and high note horns. This is going to be really hard to film. But there's one that's right here, and then there's another that's right there. So they ground to the uh, metal part of the front clip. There's a metal bar that runs along here. That's where they ground and then they get power obviously from the wires that run to them so I like to just take them out and then bench test them that just verifies that they work then I can clean up the ground clean up the electrical contact get them all clean and ready to go and hopefully that fixes the problem somebody spliced a wire in that doesn't bode well hopefully it's not a wiring issue we'll see I have my uh, power supply here let's go ahead and see what it does So I've had things make that kind of noise before and then when they were on the car they actually worked a lot better. So I cleaned all the contacts with wire wheels. I'm going to go see if they actually get power from the steering column and then we'll go from there. Next what we need to do is check if we get voltage to the horns. So what I've done is I've put the test light to the end of that and then grounded it to the ground on the back of the alternator. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push right here and see if it lights up man we're not getting anything so I know that's a good ground because I tested it with the power to the distributor so I know that's not the problem what I'm thinking might be the problem is this butt end connector that's on here that might be the issue because this other wire just goes the other horn but you know looking at that it doesn't look too good what I'll probably do is stuff the test light into the uh, end of this wire and see if I get anything that way. So I'm not getting any kind of power to this wire, so that makes me trace it all the way back to the steering column and dig a little deeper in there and see what we can find. The way the steering column comes apart is there's three of these screws, one, two, three, and they thread it in. And then this is all one piece. You gotta remember it's got that little push lever right here. These are shims, those come out. And then that is a retainer clip right there that holds everything up. But what we want to look for is right there. This part right here. Because a lot of times that's broken or missing. So, looks like that one's pretty original. I don't know if it's even making any difference. Since we're not getting any power to the front horns, and we know they'll make some kind of noise when they do get power, and the switch inside the column looks pretty good, I think the real problem is this. There's a horn relay right here. And the scary part is somebody's messed with it before. So, somebody's messed with all parts of this horn circuit. We'll see if we can fix it. So the first thing we need to do is see if it has power. It should have power at all times, and then 
when you push on the steering column it sends a ground which actually kind of looks like that wire that could be it it's a black wire that grounds the relay and then makes the horns work yeah that would be stupid if that's all it was let's plug this in okay that's plugged in a lot of people got to do this so this is really the problem and then all we got to do maybe they hooked it up backwards let's see so the way that this really works is really simple so you see this black wire right here that runs from the steering column and when you push on the horn button that wire grounds the relay which then trips the relay and then that relay sends 12 volts through this green wire which you probably can't see on the other side of the relay and that runs the horns so what I want to do is I want to check the circuit from the relay back to the column and this is how you do it to check a ground you plug in your test light to a 12 volt source which is going to be on the back of the alternator and then you plug the light into the black wire and if the ground is good when you complete the circuit the light will light so normally you just tap on the horn button but since I have the horn button apart this is what you have to do this completes the circuit if you ground that pin to the hub which is this the test light should light up so all I gotta do is do this so that that right there shows me that the ground is good and we're getting power to the relay it's grounding so it might just be a bad relay so we'll see let's take it apart and see we figured out that the ground from the steering column is good we figured out that so we that's half the circuit now we need to find the other half so I got 12 volts going to this wire and I'm gonna hook it to the green wire which runs to the horns and we'll see if it sounds I'm gonna put you guys down because I can't do this with one hand so we have horns So that tells me that the issue is going to be that relay. So I took the relay apart and I cleaned it. And I made sure everything was plugged in correctly. So that's how it's supposed to work. So now we can come back here to the steering column and give it a little test. So, so basically I'm doing what the horn button would do. Ta-da! Horn's fixed. Now I gotta put all this crap back together. The other thing that happened was that ended up breaking, but I think I have another one to replace it with. We'll see. And here, my friends, is the finishing touch. So that's how it should work. You should just be able to tap it. You shouldn't have to push really hard. Uh, for the horn to go and my neighbors are probably thinking I'm crazy because I'm honking all the horns so there it is all fixed ended up just being a dirty relay it's always the simple things in life